Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about compound inequalities. And we're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, negative 10b plus 3 is less than or equal to negative 37, or the inequality 3b minus 10 is less than or equal to negative 25. Okay? My first step is I need to solve both inequalities individually. So I'm going to subtract a 3 to both sides here. On the first one, leave me with a negative 10b is less than or equal to negative 37 minus 3 is a negative 40. Now I need to divide by negative 10 to both sides. And remember, when we divide by negative over the inequality, that inequality flips. So we're left with the b on the left is greater than or equal to now negative 40 divided by negative 10 is a positive 4. So now I'm going to solve the other one, because this one's all, all done. I add a 10 to both sides here, leaving me with a 3b is less than or equal to negative 25 plus 10 is a negative 15. I then divide by 3 to both sides, leaving me with b is less than or equal to negative 15 divided by 3 is a negative 5. So our options were or. So now we have b can be greater than or equal to Four, or b can be less than or equal to negative 5. So now let's graph it. Okay? So let's put 0 in the middle. Let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. Okay? Well, if b is greater than or equal to 4, I have a closed circle at 4, so I'm going to put my closed circle right there. And since b can be greater than 4 also, I need to put my arrow to the right. And there we have our graph that represents b is greater than or equal to 4. But we have another part where it says b is less than or equal to negative 5. So since it can equal negative 5, I have a closed circle right here at negative 5. And then it says b is less than negative 5, so I'm going to put my arrow to the left. And so now I have a graph that matches my inequalities here that b is greater than or equal to 4, or b is less than or equal to negative 5. So let's recap. We're given negative b, a 10b plus 3 is less than or equal to negative 37, or b, a 3b minus 10 is less than or equal to negative 25. I solved each individually. I subtracted 3 to both sides here, and then divided by negative 10. When I divided by negative 10 over the inequality, and it's a flip from less than or equal to sign to a greater than or equal to sign, giving me b is greater than or equal to 4. And on this one here, when I solved it, I added a 10 to both sides, then I divided by 3, and I'm left with b is less than or equal to a negative 5. Graphed each one individually, since b could equal 4 in a closed circle, and we put an arrow to the right because we said b was greater than 4 also. This one here, b could equal negative 5, closed circle there, and b was also less than negative 5, so that our arrow went to the left. So now my graph matches my final answer, which is b is greater than or equal to 4, or b is less than or equal to negative